I am so happy that I've been able to make a few of these videos lately because honestly things were dry as heck for a long time. So today's video is another what sold. So make sure you watch to the very end to see all the sales that I made over $50 in the last week and a half I would say. <music> Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Danica. I'm a part-time reseller based in Calgary, Alberta. I sell on Poshmark Canada, Poshmark US, and I am cross-listing to eBay hoping for the best, but things are a little slow over there. So today's video is my top sales on Poshmark Canada in the last, I would say, week and a half. Uh, things have been slow on Poshmark US, but if you've watched my videos, you know that I do not have currently any automation running on Poshmark US, so it's just normal that it's a little slower. I don't really have the time, honestly, right now to be running to the cross-border courier as much, so I'm not mad at it kind of just being stagnant for now. I'm definitely 100% focusing mostly on Poshmark Canada at the moment, just because that's what's easiest for me. Um, that's kind of how I run things. I go from like, it's easy for me to scale up and scale down in terms of platforms that I'm cross listing to. So I cross, I post everything to Poshmark Canada first. And then if I have the time, if I have the energy, then I will cross post to Poshmark US and then lastly to eBay. So that being said, these are the sales uh, that I've made over $50 in the last, I would say, week and a half. I didn't actually look at the date of the sales, but from what I remember, this is like the last week and a half-ish, I would say. All the sales are on Poshmark Canada just because, um, yeah, I had my Poshmark US on vacation mode for a while just because I was away from home for a bit. I was in Vancouver. So without further ado, let's get into these sales. The first one I will talk about is this Coach Pebbled Leather Wallet. If you see me looking down here, I'm just looking at my laptop with, for my list. So this wallet I actually purchased on an online auction. I did buy it for myself, but when it came in, I realized that those long wallets just don't fit in my Lululemon crossbody bag, like the everyday belt bag very well um it was just too long so i ended up going and getting myself a smaller wallet like a shorter wallet so yeah so i ended up list listing this one i did make money on it but i don't remember exactly how much it did sell on a poshmark for 78 dollars so most of these sales actually are i have my automation on poshmark canada automatically relist listings that are like of a certain age I guess I don't know and I have it automatically send out offers to listings so if someone likes something in t I think 10 minutes later it sends a 20% and discounted shipping offer to them so mostly sales are actually made with that automation so that is amazing I'm actually switching over automation tomorrow I'm really excited I've been like wanting to do this but the thing is like with all these automation tools like you're you pay and then you're locked in for a month so if I canceled the one I'm with right now and I had to wait this entire month before I switch over because I didn't want to be like running two different automations right does that make sense Anyway, I better remember tomorrow to sign up for this one. Okay, anyway, so $78, yes, that was one that someone had sent a like, my bot sent over an offer and they accepted and so I made that sale. Next is this Arteryx Funnel Neck Pullover. This was one of my favorite finds probably of the year so far at the thrift store. Um, I love Arteryx personally, I think it's like a great brand to purchase and to resell the resale value pretty much holds up really well especially I would say tops and like layering pieces the top layers not the base layers so I have sourced leggings before and they just like didn't really do that well so I would say sweaters and coats is like really what you're looking for when it comes to Arteryx 
This one was in like new condition. It was amazing. I actually wore it to Lake Louise skating. I don't know if I have any pictures that I can put up here. If I do, I will put it. Um, but yeah, so this one actually sold for $100. Again, my cost of goods, I got that at the thrift store. So I would say between $10 and $15. Um, and so, yeah, that was amazing. Someone actually sent me an offer. It was listed, I think, for $118. They sent me an offer for $100 and I could not accept fast enough. That was amazing. I love those kinds of sales. When someone sends you like a super reasonable offer, that is the best. Next is this pair of Fly London Yand ankle strap wedges uh these again i think i sourced in november maybe but i love selling fly london it's probably one of my favorite brands to sell as long as they're in good condition you'll probably get between 50 to 70 dollars i would say these sold for 56 so i'm pretty glad i was actually thinking of doing a video where i look at my sales and then check sold comps which like I check when I price my items but just to like see if I sold items for like a normal comp amount or more or less I don't know that's just something that's interesting to me but I'm a data queen I freaking love data I track everything 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 that I can track I can track anyway so I was really happy to sell those sandals sandals shoes <laughs> And so yeah, 56 bucks in the bank. Well, minus 20%, but still. Next are these Aritzia floral silk wide leg pants. I've had these forever, forever. I would say over a year for sure that I've had those silk pants. They were just not moving whatsoever. I even had a stock photo. I had everything, um, good pictures. I think a pretty decent description. That's probably something I could go and look at is um, some descriptions of items that are not selling and redo those but anyway that's kind of like a little sidebar to myself so yeah I was really happy to sell those I don't remember if I got those at the bins or at the thrift store I think the thrift store so anyway selling them my bot relisted them and then they sold for $47 which I'm really happy with so that was great Next is this pair of Spanx Moto faux leather leggings. I actually bought these on Poshmark US for myself and I'm pretty sure I paid more than that for them. So this was just like one of those things that I had tried them on, didn't love how they looked on me, so just decided to resell them. And I did, I think, resell them at a loss, but it is what it is. I had to purchase them brand new with tags and for some reason took the tag off before trying them on, which not smart but I thought that I was gonna be fine and yeah they were just a little Spanx are supposed to be tight but they were a little too tight and then I held on to them like oh yeah I'll fit into these I'll fit into these and you know it's not gonna happen so that's all right they sold for $69 which is great I am happy with that I could have gotten more for them I'm pr like I'm 99% sure but again it is what it is it's money in the bank and an item out the door which is kind of like what I'm trying to do right now you know as a reseller that's the whole point is to be making sales consistently next is this Lululemon run for cold purple jacket I did get this at the bins which was amazing I know for a fact that I could have gotten more money for this coat but it had been sitting since probably October no yeah maybe October November maybe and um there was just no movement happening on this coat like no one wanted it it was like yikes which I thought is crazy because it was a really really nice coat it did end up selling for $70 I think someone sent me that offer and I was like you know what sure so ideally it would have sold for more money but it is what it is at that point you just like kind of have to think okay i got this at the bins i paid a dollar for it i might as well just accept this offer and reinvest it or whatever next is this free people ottoman cherry mahogany tunic again i purchased this retail on clearance at the bay i think i paid pretty much what i sold for what i sold it for so i sold it for 112 dollars, and i'm pretty sure i paid like 100 maybe at the bay 
So again, I did purchase this for myself. I was gonna keep it, I was gonna wear it, and I just like literally never reached for it, like not once. I do have a black ottoman sweater, so, and that one I don't even reach for that much anymore. So anyway, um, so yeah, I decided to just pull it from my personal closet and list it on Poshmark and it sold pretty quickly. That one? Yeah, it sold on Poshmark. $112. Could I have gotten more maybe because it was new with tags, but whatever. I was just happy to get it out the door. And last but not least, I have this Athleta Purina v-neck wrap this was probably the softest things i have ever put my hands on i got this when i was thrifting with tabs in august when she came for the poshmark show poshmark party this sold for 52 dollars, which is amazing it did sit for like a little bit but honestly i was just happy to be making more than 50 dollars for it my cost of goods my average sales price is slowly creeping up which is exactly what I'm trying to do. I was doing some listing this week and realized that I have like a bunch of personal items that I grabbed from my closet and put into the spare room to list. And then like, as I was photographing, I was like, okay, this is actually not the kind of stuff that I want to be listing on Poshmark. I want to be listing like items that are going to sell for more money. So I need to get more into the habit of when I'm pulling stuff from my personal closet, unless it's like something really crazy that I know will sell for a lot of money on Poshmark, just bring it to the consignment store uh, because it's like not worth my time to be photographing and listing items that are selling for like $10, $15, like my little airy sports bras and stuff. So that is just something to know. Although I sold three of them in a bundle today for like a lot of money plus other things. So maybe it is good to list them just as like bundling things, but I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, those are like my top sales for the last week and a half. I'm happy. Things are still like a little bit slow, but I haven't been putting that much time into Poshmark. Honestly, um, in the last couple, in the next few days, I mean, I will be listing a bunch. Hopefully um, I'm going to work today at 430 so I got to leave here in like half an hour and so I have like nothing to do at the airport but to list, 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 list. So that's what I'll be doing is just sitting in the little dungeon and listing away. I think I have a, almost 50 items on my camera roll that are like photographed and just ready to be listed. So I need to start making some moves here. Um, I did go thrifting twice, three times in the last week, which is kind of unusual for me these days. I've been really focused on getting through my death pile and I felt like I had it at like a pretty manageable size and then went thrifting three times, which like sounds counterintuitive, but honestly, I think I got some really good pieces and as I'm like working through this transition period on my Poshmark of transitioning from like lower end items to higher end items, I need to be sourcing some better items so that's what i did i went to the thrift store and got some things that i think will end up selling for like really good money hopefully i'll be able to do a what sold pretty soon here with more stuff that i'm selling for more money so that is like my whole deal right now that is what i'm focused on is just increasing my asp like crazy i just wanted to like whoo, go way up i think it's on i think it's working i think i'm like you know, on the way there, when I look at the last year, um, I would say I've done a pretty good job actually of just increasing those numbers. So I'm not mad at it. I will just keep working at it and see what happens. It's crazy to me that I've been able to film two what's sold videos in the last like month, I would say. I used to do them every single Monday and I had like decent sales weekly daily i had like three four sales a day which is crazy to think about right now but then i also realized that when i was laid off from work and i was reselling full time my closet had like i had like 300 active listings and right now i have 150. so i need to just like take a step back sometimes and think about i'm not selling right now at the same capacity as i was back then i wanted to keep keep that up but it was just not sustainable for me working full-time 
So right now I'm working full time and I'm also kind of splitting my time between Calgary and Vancouver. Not that much, like I'm not spending that much time in Vancouver right now, but it's still like, you know, it's time maybe a week, a month that I'm not at home. So yeah, I'm just plugging away and trying to keep on top of everything. I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing like a pretty decent job at that. I'm doing my best. That's all I can do, right? It's just my best. So anyway, yeah, I have to leave here in like half an hour. So I have to like recurl my hair and pack my bag as if I'm going to leave for four days because they might call me at the airport and be like, okay, well, you're leaving for four days. And I don't even know what I'm going to pack in my lunchbox because I just packed my boyfriend's lunchbox and I don't know how much food I left for myself, but that's all right. I'm sure I'll find something in the freezer. Oh shoot, I should have, when they called me, I should have cooked something, <laughs> but whatever. It is what it is. I'm sure I can scrounge and put some food together for myself. And um, yeah, I packed all my sales. I'm ready to drop them off in the mailbox at the airport. I also am sending my dad his Valentine. I'm a little late, but I had bought him something like, before Valentine's and I was going to go see him and then I forgot it. So now I'm finally sending it in the mail. So that is what I've got going on. Let me know in the comments how your sales have been, if they've been like getting better, if they've never slowed down, if they are slowing down and let's talk about it in the comments. I love replying to YouTube comments. It's one of my favorite like things to do. Um, the discourse in YouTube is just like I don't know so much better than instagram anywhere else so i do love chatting in the youtube comments and i will oh yeah have i even said anything about hitting a thousand subscribers on any of my videos i hit a thousand subscribers probably almost two weeks ago now and things are just like going up it is amazing i appreciate everyone that has subscribed i'm so much closer to being monetized which like yeah it's probably annoying to hear me talk about it but like making videos is a lot of work and right now like i'm just doing it for free which is fine i don't mind doing it for free but i obviously would prefer being monetized i think that i like make some pretty well thought out videos i like to think that i have like you know, some information to share with the community. I remember when I first started reselling, that was one of the first things I did was come to YouTube and watch videos. I would watch hauls, I would watch what sold, I would watch like everything I could watch, I would watch. And I think it's really important that there is like a space specifically for Poshmark Canada community on YouTube, on Instagram. Um, there's a few of us on here. So I am happy to help all the Poshmark Can Canada sellers. <laughs> And Poshmark US too, I do sell over there. So I like to think that, you know, I'm kind of playing both sides right now. Um, but yeah, so excited that I hit a thousand subscribers. My boyfriend got me a cake pop and it was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And yeah, we celebrated and it was great. Um, but with that being said, I will leave you for now. Thank you again to everyone who subscribed. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do. There's like a little button somewhere down here that you can push and it will just like prompt you to subscribe to me. So make sure you do that and I will see you next time. Bye.